and welcome to a special edition of Strange Planet. As I keep you updated on what's happening with me and my journey with the blue bottle back there, ASEA, this uh, amazing uh, redox signaling molecule supplement that I take religiously uh, every day, twice a day, four ounces in the morning, four ounces at night. And um, just to let you know what's happening with me, but also I want to reintroduce to you a uh, member of the ASEA family, Dr. David Silverman, who is a, a foot surgeon and also, of course, a, a member of ASEA's uh, medical board. And uh, Dr. Silverman, David, welcome back. How are you? I'm great, Richard. How are you, my friend? Haven't seen you in a while. It has been a couple of months. So uh, here's the update with, with <clears throat> what's happening with me. Yeah. Um, I've, I, I'm, I'm blessed with good genes. I've always had great teeth. Uh, never had a cavity, but I brush, I brush pretty aggressively. And in the, uh, in the past, about 15 years ago, I had to have a gum graft because I had receding gums. And now, over the last several months, while taking a C, and I swish it around in my mouth for about a minute before I swallow, um, I've noticed my gums are firmer, stronger, no sensitivity, um, no bleeding, and, and still I'm brushing really aggressively. So what do you think about that? I'd say I hear that all the time. <laughs> um, you know, everybody, when they start on this product, they, they look at some of the videos and they hear testimonials and they say, I wonder if it's going to help me. And uh, because it's a cellular health product, it impacts every cell of the body. The gum tissue is made up of cells, just like <clears throat> skin and retina and lung and liver and prostate. Everything's made of cells. And younger people generally have healthier cells and healthier tissues and healthier organs. And younger people produce more of the redox molecules, what's, what's in this bottle. I mean, it's in us. So um, with uh, sometimes people say, well, I'm not really noticing a whole lot, but boy, I went to the dentist and my dentist said, well, your gums aren't bleeding as I'm the hygienist. I'm cleaning. I don't see bleeding and you're not receding as much. So sometimes the changes are really dramatic, Richard, and sometimes they're subtle. And people really have to pay attention because over weeks, months, and years, it just gets better and better. But the fact that when we drink this product, we put it in our mouth, you can just swallow it, but it works better if you hold it in your mouth for 30 to 60 seconds, because it gets into the bloodstream through diffusion and absorption, not through your digestive tract. So the beneficiary of that, the beneficiary of that, the extra bonus beneficiary is your gums because it's sitting on the tissues for 30 seconds to a minute. So those cells get an extra, an extra bump with it. So that's pretty cool. It is very cool. I'm delighted with that. Uh, also, I can report just, you know, continued great, great sleep, uh, boundless energy. Um, typically, um, I will host a, an overnight program out of Los Angeles three times a month on a, like a Friday or a Saturday. And so I work all day up until about 7.30. Typically, I'll go to, uh, to bed, have a nap, and then I have to get up around 10, and I work right through until 5 a.m. And uh, I would say over the last month, the, uh, those naps are getting either shorter or I'm just, just doing away with them entirely. So I'm, I'm getting up at about 7 a.m., and three times a month, I'm working right through until 5 a.m. without a nap. So... You know, I think at 59, I think my energy levels are through the roof. Yeah, I, I look, I'm 62. I'll be 63 this year. I just got back Friday from a month long trip, <clears throat> almost a month. I left on February 7th. I got home on March 3rd at midnight. Um, I went to speak all over Asia because this company is in 34 countries. I was in Singapore and Malaysia uh, in KL. I went to Miri and Borneo. <clears throat> I went to Jakarta. And then I was in the Philippines. Uh, for about nine days. I took 17 flights wow. and at 62, I mean, I feel great. I mean, I feel like I'm 26 years old. So one of the things that people do tend to notice um, relatively quickly, not everybody, but relatively is, is quality of sleep and energy. Um, you know, if you get deeper sleep, then you don't really need as much um, your, and your body's repairing itself when it sleeps. When we sleep, that's when the repair is going on. And this stuff just amplifies signaling. What The reason it seems to help sleep is it's proven in a double-blind placebo-controlled study that it turns on pathway signaling genes that turn off as we age. 
So we all know the term epigenetics or genes turn off. Well, what that really means is they're not turning off. Their genetic expression is decreasing. And what that is, is our DNA is a blueprint and it's telling our cells which proteins to produce. It's expressing itself in, in to, to, to make proteins. So liver cells are being told by the genes to make the proteins that make liver cells that function to, to, to make your liver work. And, and lung cells are, are different. And, and the genes in your eye and your retina are telling your retina cells to make the proteins it needs. And that decreases as we age. Well, a lot of these signaling genes, one of them that it turns back on, that's proven in eight weeks, drinking eight ounces a day or 240 ml, is a gene called EGR1. And EGR1 um, controls a lot of things in our bodies from thyroid function, insulin function, um, NERF2 pathways, serotonin. So you see some interesting things happen with mood. But one of them, the genes is circadian rhythm. You know, circadian rhythm is is what we get into. We're, we're tied into the, the, the light and the planet and the moon and everything. We're supposed to sleep at a certain time to get the deepest sleep. But as we age, those genes turn off. And we're not getting the sleep we did when we were younger. So when you drink this, you're raising your levels back up of redox molecules. That's what they were when you were younger. And generally people regret that they sleep better or their dreams are more vivid or they're remembering their dreams. I had somebody who said, I haven't dreamt in color since I was a kid, but I'm having color dreams again, which I've never heard. So everybody sees interesting things, but it's just you want them to commit to do 90 days on the product. Because not everybody has a result like that. With the gel, you, as you know, with the gel version of it that's marketed for wrinkles, someone wants instant gratification, instant validation. Prove it to me. Prove it to me now. I don't want to wait 90 days. <clears throat> I say, go take the gel and find five or 10 people that have something that's hurting them, whether it's their hand or their neck or their back, <clears throat> and ask them just for 10 minutes, not 90 days, just 10 minutes. And you're going to ask them, how do they feel right at the moment on a scale of one to 10? How bad is the discomfort? And say, I'm going to ask you again in 10 minutes and just be honest and tell me how you feel now and in 10 minutes. Fair enough. Yeah. So they do a deep knee bend. They rate their discomfort, their hand, their neck, whatever it is. <clears throat> they shake up the gel, which is the drink in a gel form. And it's clear. And there's, you know, there's no smell to it at all. It's made from saline. That's what our body makes it from. And I'm putting it in my face right now because it's marketed to rejuvenate skin cells. So it makes you look younger, which is great because it makes your skin younger. But if they put it on the area that hurts, not once, but three times in five minutes. So they put it on once, it dries, put it on twice, it dries, three times it dries. So in the first five minutes of the 10 minute test, they put it on three times. And at 10 minutes, you ask them how they feel. For people that want instant validation with a product that has a money back guarantee for 30 days, do that on 10 people. Watch what happens to nine of the 10 people. And it's pretty stunning. And they could be negative cynics, but if they're honest, they're going to tell you, wow, this is remarkable. But when I was in the Philippines, <clears throat> I met with a guy who's a billionaire. We had 15 minutes with him. The guy was a governor. He knows every politician. Every person in the Philippines knows him, everybody. And we had a 15-minute audience with him, audience. In his, in his Manila mansion, he's got 50 people working there. There's 50 people waiting to see him. We're sitting at his desk. His, his, his uh, daughter is a congresswoman. She's sitting there. And she he goes, well, so, so tell me, what is this? And I told him, and I said, you know, we only have 15 minutes um, together. His name is Chavit uh, Singson. We only have 15 minutes. Anybody who's Filipino will know that name, by the way, is listening to this. And I said, Chavit, I can explain it to you. And then <clears throat> when I leave, you might read about it, but I'd rather show you. So, <clears throat> excuse me, you have a lot of people working here and maybe you, if anybody has something that hurts them, could you have them come over here and I'll just show you in 10 minutes and then you'll know. He said, well, my knees hurt. So he did a deep knee bend. It was a six on a scale of one to 10, six. He put it on three times in five minutes. And right when we were leaving, <clears throat> he said, I said, oh, could you try getting up and down again? So he went up and down. And he went up and down again. And he looked at his daughter kind of like stunned. And I, I've seen this for 12 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, he knew we were going to fly to vegan another, another, another city the next day to, for me to do more speaking and at the Capitol building and different things. And he, and he called his scheduler over after his knee wasn't hurting. And he said, what do I have tomorrow? 
Goes, she goes through, she says, cancel it. He looks at me and says, you're coming with me on my private plane. I'm going to take you to vegan. We're going to go. And then we spent the day there <clears throat> with him. He introduced me to so many people. And this ripple effect is taking effect where people know that this works. They share it with the people they know. They share it with the people they know. They share it with the people they know. Mm. And good God, it's it's a great way to help a lot of people. You know, as a foot surgeon, I can only help people in my office. But with this, it just spreads around the world because the product works. The Redox Revolution. Uh, and to my listeners and viewers, you want to get on board. Uh, before you do anything, before you do anything, call in. And uh, the number is right there on the screen, 443 443- Two five four sixty twenty four, and um, also you can visit the uh, the website. It's on there as well. Strangeplanet.teamasia.com. But uh, call Lynn or text Lynn, and don't buy from Amazon or any third party. Go to Lynn before you do anything else. Um, what else was I going to uh, mention? Um, oh, my son takes the gel. Uh, he's uh, very active: tennis, hockey, baseball basketball, you name it. And uh, he's, he's has some sort of an issue with his patella, uh, kind of moves around a little bit. And that's kind of associated, I think, with growing, you know, the the, the ligaments aren't keeping up with uh, the growing. So he's uh, always putting it on his knees. My wife carries uh, the, the gel in her purse, whenever we take him to hockey and so forth. But he also uses it on his skin. He's 16. So he has some acne. And it's, it's uh, almost immediately, there was a marked a marked improvement uh, in his complexion. And of course, that's so important for kids. You know, it boosts confidence and everything else. So I say the same thing all the time, Richard, you know, acne, let's just call it pimples. We're not supposed to use medical terms, but pimples, they're not going to kill anybody, but it affects their self-image and their self-confidence. And um, the kids, when they're before puberty, kids produce so much of this, if they're healthy, they, they don't need it. If they have issues, they definitely take it because sometimes they have problems with their mitochondria, which is where their body produces this. And they don't produce enough, but healthy kids don't need it. But um, even healthy kids after puberty, they have these changes in their skin. And it's really nice when they, they, they could have mild ones or really just completely just covered. And all they do is just take a picture of their face the day they start it's good to both drink it and use the gel, but they can just use the gel and use it a lot. Shake it up. They put it on and they, it dries. They put it on again. They cannot, it, you, it's not a medicine. So you, you can't use it too much. It's not like a steroid cream where you, your adrenals could shut down and there's side effects with your kidney and your liver. This right. is not a medicine. It's such a breakthrough, but I love to see what it does for kids. Um, it, and then they just keep taking serial photographs and the more they do it, the better. One thing I'll tell you, if anybody does it for that <clears throat> on their skin, <clears throat> if they do it multiple times, they'll end up seeing like a kind of a dust on their skin. And people say, well, what is that? Is that the redox molecules? Is that salt? What is it? It's not. It's the clay. So when they make the gel, the way they do it is they double the concentration of the drink. And then they add a clay to it. So it turns into a gel. And they also add a buffer to bring the pH down because when they concentrate, the pH becomes very alkaline. But when you put it on many times like that, you'll see a dust. That's the clay because the clay won't go in. The clay is just there to give it consistency. The molecules go into the tissues, into the skin and into the tissues. Um, and by the way, there's a video that people can watch of how they make it. I put it together a site. It doesn't have any contact information on there, but it's called gettingyoungerclub.com. Everybody wants to be part of it at some point in their life, <laughs> gettingyoungerclub.com. And you'll see very intraspecific videos, like why is it made from salt water? How is it made? Why is it marketed through word of mouth marketing? Is it really a biotech company that turned down an offer from a pharmaceutical company to buy it and the patents? And these founders said no, because the pharmaceutical company <clears throat> wanted to bury it. And quite frankly, pharmaceutical companies do a lot of good but look, let's face it. Well, there's one thing they need to be in business. That's sick people. If they don't have sick people, they're out of business. So they really don't want people staying well. Um, they may say that, but they need people sick to take their meds, their product. And um, when you go to gettingyoungerclub.com, two videos I'd suggest watching, the first one, but also there's a five-minute tour of how they make the product in the FDA registered production facility. 
And you mentioned don't get it on Amazon or anywhere else because there's actually counterfeit product out there. The bigger this company has gotten, the more counter scammers are out there <clears throat> and expired product. You don't know if it's been, it shouldn't be sitting in direct sunlight that can affect it. All these different things in the box, it's okay. But you want to get fresh product from the FDA registered production facility. Um, but watch the, the five minute video on how they make it and the 16 minute video called the genesis of the SIA to see what a miracle it is that they even made this and the miracle that they said no to the buyout because a lot of people would just take the money and run and they did not. They said, no, the world deserves to know about this. Um, and these people, if they got their hands on it, they would just make it go away and no one would ever know that it existed. So I recommend going to gettingyoungerclub.com. So if people want to get on board and they want to take the product, they want to share the product with their friends, they want to get the, you know, join this ASEA Redox revolution and get the product out there. And, and uh, how do they, how do they plug into the ASEA community? Well, that's the beautiful thing. You know, we always say this company has three products. One is the product. One is the opportunity, the opportunity, you know, at least to get the product for free. If they pay it forward and share it with people, the company pays us for that because when they they decided not to market it traditionally. So all the money that would go into advertising and spokespeople, it goes to us. 37.5 cents of every dollar of revenue goes to the compensation of the people sharing it with their, with their sphere of influence. And you share it with 10 people. And every time those people are getting their product, you get paid over and over and over again. They're happy. And because 90% of people would like to have more money because they're either struggling or settling in life, or they would just want to get their product for free, 90% of people, if you've got 10 people on it, nine out of 10 of them are probably going to want to make some money. I mean, quite frankly, money doesn't make you happy, but it gives you choices and it takes away stress. So let's say, let's just say all 10 of them shared with 10 people. So you share with 10 and all 10 shared with 10. And then all hundred of those shared with 10. That's a thousand, that's 1110 people using the product because of you and the company pays you for that ripple effect on a residual basis. So what I'd recommend is when they talk to Lynn, when they call Lynn, <clears throat> if they have interest in that, just say, how do I get my product for free? You know, we're not going to sit there and say how I got to the level that I'm at. I mean, I make a lot more money than I made owning my own practice and surgery center. And I have complete time freedom. I don't have to do this anymore because the ripple effect that I created, these people are consuming the product. They're happy. I don't have to do this anymore. The only reason I do what I do in these weekly Zooms that I do, where I answer questions and Lynn will tell people about that, is because I've dedicated, literally dedicated my life to making people aware of this breakthrough until the breakthrough doesn't need me anymore. Because when it hits a tipping point and it becomes as mainstream as, as a light bulb or a coffee cup, people know what this is. They don't know what this is. It's not going to need me anymore. But we do have this, this community this infrastructure in place to serve people with what they want. If they have a child on the spectrum and they want to know, well, what, what do I do for this? We have that information. They have someone who doesn't sleep well. We have that information. We have someone who's got pimples. We have that information. We have people who, who say, I want to look younger. How do I look younger? We have that information. And for the people that say, hey, I want to make a difference in this world. It, I've seen that this works. How do I monetize it? I, I, I want to make more money and I'd like to do it by by doing good. We have that, we have information and a, and a structure for that as well. Right. I mean, yeah, get in, get on board because um, I'm trying to remember the, the example when we talk about this, you know, redox uh, signaling molecule revolution and, and the volumes and volumes of medical and scientific textbooks that have been written about it. But this is... This could be what the next insulin, the next uh, what, what what's the what's the the sort of historical parallel we would use? I say, you know, when people say what's the greatest breakthrough in medicine, people often say penicillin was a great breakthrough, and it was. It really was. I mean, it saved tens of millions of lives. This is much bigger than penicillin, and it's not a medicine. And why do I say that? Because penicillin is is for specific gram positive bacteria. Doesn't do anything for gram negative. <clears throat> and now it's that people have resistance to it. So it doesn't even work like it used to work, right? So now you got resistant, all types of resistance. But it was directed towards one thing, and that was infection. You take penicillin, it didn't make you sleep better. 
took penicillin, it didn't make any have an effect on your blood sugar, didn't have an effect on your mood, didn't have an effect on your hand shaking, didn't have an effect on your wrinkles. The only thing that I think that this is on the same level of is, that, that is, is stem cells. Stem cells is a dramatic breakthrough in medicine. I mean, it, it is just far above anything pharmaceutical based and it's non-specific. But number one, it's expensive. And if you if you use it, there's no money back guarantee on it. It's expensive. There's no money back guarantee. As long as you have to do it many times, it cost you fifty thousand dollars. <throat> this is accessible by everybody in thirty four countries, right? And it's so safe. I mean, you can put it in a little spray bottle, and I'm spraying it in my eyes right now. That's how safe it is. Um, the other analogy with penicillin is this: breakthroughs always sound too good to be true. In the history of mankind, I don't care what you name. People that didn't know it existed said that's impossible. Whether it was the television, the telephone, the light bulb, it, it, the internet, it doesn't matter. It, people that are not in the know about what's going on or who developed it say that's impossible. How could they do that? <clears throat> Picture penicillin. It's an analogy with this. You go to somebody and say, hey, this is a breakthrough. They look, it's in a blue bottle. They look at the ingredients. The ingredients say water, sodium chloride. <laughs> yeah, sure, it's a breakthrough. Ha ha. Well, picture, picture being back when penicillin was introduced and all the experts of the day, of that day, the doctors who literally were the experts for health, right? Scientists. And, and the person that developed um, penicillin said, hey, this is a breakthrough. This is going to save millions of lives because back then Richard someone cut their arm on a piece of barbed wire you know if it got infected they might die I mean, they'd get sepsis and die from a scratch you know a bacteria gets in <clears throat> this is going to save lives really really it's going to save lives it's a breakthrough well, what is it what is it well it's it's made from bread mold it is bread mold <laughs> the experts of the day can you imagine their face bread mold <laughs> That wax says bread mold is going to save millions of lives. So these experts of the day that 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 laughed at things, they just didn't know. And that's that's the where we are with, with this. And the quickest way, like I say, for me to open someone's mind is, you know, they, they 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 get on the drink, they baseline everything in their health, energy, sleep, mood, breathing, eye problems, blood sugar, libido, whatever, and they track their progress over 90 days. They're not going to, some people have an immediate aha moment, but most don't. Only 15% do in the first week, 60% do in the first month and 90% do after 90 days. But that's, again, I go back to the gel and just say, you want to, uh, you want to have your aha moment quickly to, to grab your full attention is put it on a few people that are hurting three times in five minutes. And then you watch what happens and you self-validate it. Um, but that's the analogy I compare it to is either penicillin or stem cells. Yeah, I mean, it's always the outliers that change the world. Always, always. It's totally. Not, not the people that are running with the herd. Uh, again, get on board, but before you do anything, if you want to if you want to buy the product for yourself or a friend, if you want to, uh, you know, plug into the ASEA community and share it with others, call or text Lynn 443-254-6024. The number's right there on the screen, along with uh, the website, strangeplanet.teamasia.com. David, always a pleasure. Glad you're Thanks. back safe and sound and uh, look forward to speaking with you again down the road. Me too. I can't wait to hear more of your experiences and, and your listeners too. Hopefully they'll share with you because it's, it's, a, it's a great thing when you see it happen for yourself, the results, but when you see that you're the person that, that made it happen for someone else, it's, it's kind of the feeling I had as a, as a foot surgeon. Someone came with a broken ankle and I fixed it and they they would invite me to their weddings and things. It's like they were so thankful for, for what I did for them or they lived with a problem for decades and then they came to me and I helped get rid of it. Um, this gives the, the person who's not a doctor the ability to impact, to impact, as I say, not just the lives of people they know, but the people who they know and they know and they know. And uh, I appreciate it. I look forward to being on here again with you. All right. Thank you, Dr. David Silverman. A new Richard Serrett's Strange Planet drops every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Subscribe at strangeplanetpodcast.com.